Welcome back to another episode of Nick and Matt. Good morning, I'm with Matt. Morning. And we're actually, Lee, can't talk, we're actually heading to Union to go pick up the kitties with my sister Pam, that's my older sister. They're down for the day and we're taking them to the aquarium. Uh, but yeah, so I just spent the morning kind of tidying up the house quickly before they came over. Uh, I'm not really ready yet, I haven't done my hair and makeup, but I mean, I'm just playing with the kids all day, so it's like a play date for me, too. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go pick them up. Oren has been talking about coming down to the city all week. Like, on Monday, he's like, are we going today? And my sister's like, no, four more days. So I'm pretty sure he's very stoked uh, to be down in the city today. Uh, and I'm excited to see them. Okay, so we're gonna go figure out what platform they're arriving on. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Good blueberries? Good? Yeah? Pickle, 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 That's good, that's a good pickle song. All right, so I'm making us a Western omelet. I have my mushrooms, red peppers, or red onions, and uh, yellow peppers. I'm gonna saute them. A little bit of, uh, there's uh, avocado oil in here. So, Perfect. Matt's taking one of our, uh, yes, yes, I'm seeing, Matt's taking one of the papers that we use for okay. filming health nut videos and taping them Perfect. on the ground so Ella and Orin can draw because they got into our stash. Oh, no, we're Ella's got her highlighters. This is what happens when you go to a house with no kids. We have measuring cups as, uh, measuring cups as toys, highlighters, Perfect. and wrapping paper. I know, eh? Hey, oh. Ella, okay, share. you can share. He says you have four. I changed it to like just a white t-shirt because it's actually pretty hot out today and I got my beekeepers no honey no problem hat which is the first time I'm wearing it I really like it it's very comfy and I'm wearing my hair straight today because Chloe has my curler so it's kind of a forced decision uh, but yeah we're really excited kids are so excited to see the fishies and the sharks and all the things that are at the aquarium uh, I've been once, Matt has never been before, so it should be a pretty fun day. You excited, yeah. Pammy? I've never been. You've never been? So, uh, and if you pre-order the tickets, it's actually cheaper. Just a little, just a little money saving tip. Oh, who goes there? Who goes there? Good. Oh, well, it's a cool shot of you, Pammy. Pam's got her 31 backpack with her P on it for Pam. Where can they buy it? My website. 
I'll put her website down below. She's a consultant for 31. They make awesome organizational bags. This is also 31. Yeah, purse. Right? That purse? Ooh. Zipper pouch. I have tons of organizational stuff in my backpack right now. <laughs> okay, we'll show them later. And it's a big building. at the aquarium it was a very long experience it's probably about three how long were we in there three hours oh my god and at the uh, I think I showed a little bit of it I don't even know maybe I Instagram storied it the playground there there were a bunch of I guess kids coming with their schools there was no chaperone it was like a free-for-all eh, Pam? like how crazy were all those kids Kids were getting it, trampled. I had to like tell a few kids, please do not go up the uh, the slide. Like, please go use the stairs. Yeah, and it was well, funny. The kids want to go down, right? So it was funny. Like they had a big slide there, and kids were literally going in at like five at a time, pushing, climbing up. It was mayhem. And it was funny because like I'm wearing this hat, and it looks, I guess, like I'm in charge or I work there. So I had to ask these kids, like you know, a bunch of kids were cutting the line. I felt like Grandma Nikki was like, hey get the back get to the back of the line uh, so you know my four-year-old nephew could go down the slide and not get trampled because poor thing is like crying because he wants to go down anyways fun times at Ripley's Aquarium all right we are back Oren how was your experience did you like the fishies I say yes. you liked it what was your favorite part Oh, he's saying his favorite part was in some areas you could touch some of the fish and things, but some of where the uh, stingrays were, the water was like pretty deep, so he was scared he was gonna fall in. But mm -hmm. so Matt actually he got home before us because we went for a coffee stop at Aroma, and Matt put on uh, Finding Nemo. How appropriate! I haven't watched this movie in so long. Oh, I haven't seen this one. All right, uh, so it's been a few hours since I last, last uh, touched base. We ordered Uber Eats, we got ginger, uh, and then we all had like a food coma. It wasn't really a food coma, it was just like a aquarium slash kids slash everything coma. And Chloe or Ella had a really good nap. Hi, did you have a good nap? Show the baby. What'd you get? We bought her this little turtle. Give it a big hug. Oh, uh, she had like a two hour nap. Orin is now passed out. 
on my feet. So I can't move. Um, and then, so they're probably gonna be leaving, probably gonna be taking like the, what, 6.30 train? Uh, but they're gonna be leaving in about an hour or so probably. But Chloe just finished her last exam and she's heading here because we are filming together tomorrow. We're actually filming an exciting video, which I think you guys will really like. Ella's doing a what's in my purse. What else is in there? <laughs> oh, lip, lip chap. Do you know how to put it on? Ooh. Oh. Do you know how to put that on? No. No, no. <laughs> you put on your lips. Okay. Ready to go back home. Hey, Oren, are you sad to go? He's tired. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Bye, Pam. Have fun.